Hello, and welcome to another edition of Logistics Lowdown. This series brings you the latest information, news, and breakout stories about everything supply chain related. In today's episode, we'll explore the implications of strategic supply chain shifts and what that means for businesses. Even before the onset of the global pandemic four years ago, businesses began diversifying their supply chains away from China to other countries in Southeast Asia, such as Vietnam, Malaysia, and Indonesia. China's strict on-off lockdowns brought to light several risks of depending heavily on the East Asian country. Many businesses reliant on China experienced supply chain disruptions as a result of slowed production and closed shipping ports. When the world's factory closed down, businesses began to explore other supply chain strategies, which included investing in nearby Southeast Asia. According to Malaysia's Deputy Minister of Investment Trade and Industry, this supply chain diversification is a -a once-in-a-generation opportunity for Southeast Asia as it allows companies to attract manufacturing investments that for too long focused solely on China. It seems as though the Malaysian minister's comments have come at an opportune time. In the past week, two companies have announced their plans to invest heavily in their logistics and supply chain capabilities in Southeast Asia. The first is cargo logistics giant DP World, which according to a statement made last week is working to significantly enhance capabilities by expanding upon its existing terminal business in Thailand, Vietnam, Indonesia, and the Philippines. The second is Sinyao, the logistics arm of Alibaba Group, which has announced new warehousing facilities in Indonesia as part of its regional expansion plans. With businesses actively shifting to a just-in-case model in order to establish resiliency along their supply chains, will we see more businesses looking for alternative cost-effective locations in Southeast Asia to store, ship, and fulfill their orders from in the near future? If you're an e-commerce retailer that manufactures in Asia-Pacific, then you should ship with Flowship. With warehouse locations across the region, finding the right supply chain and fulfillment solution to get closer to your manufacturers and customers has never been easier. Simply click the link in the description to get in touch with our team. That's all for this week's Logistics Lowdown. Before you go, don't forget to share your thoughts with us. Like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. Be sure to tune in next week for more logistics industry updates.